sorry. This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted to be joined with legendary trainer Bomac. We're here in the UK. How are we? Chris Eubank Jr., repeat, revenge or revenge for him? How are we feeling, mate? How's things? Oh, man, we're feeling good. I'm glad to be over in the UK for like the third or fourth time. So, and I'm used to it over here. The people are nice. Uh, but, you know, we come over here to do a job, get a job done. Absolutely. We'll talk about sort of your link up with Chris Eubank Jr. You haven't been together for a while. In such a short amount of time, how can you sort of work with a fighter and really make the necessary improvements that you want to do? You know, boxing is, you know, boxing is just, it's, it's really easy, you know, when it comes to a fighter of Chris Caliber. You know, he's on the brinks of being the superstar, so just remind him of the things that what got him here. Is it just one of these things where, you know, you can't teach sort of an old dog new tricks in a way? You know, it ain't going to say you can't teach, you know, new tricks. You, you can try to show them and see if, it, see if it'll work. But with this camp, we just wanted to remind him of, of the small things of that he, you know, he made, the mistakes that he made, and the small things that he should continue to do. We'll talk about sort of another man, Noe. You know, you gave me sort of a couple of topics. And we'll talk about your man, Terence Crawford. Um, what do you think is next for him? He's sort of about, you know, willing to move up to 168 to fight, um, to fight Canelo. Or, or, you know, he wants Charlo or Canelo. How sort of exciting are those propositions for you? Man, I, th I think it's exciting, man. The, the opportunity that Terence has in front of him as far as who he wants to fight, Canelo or Charlo, going up to get undisputed at 54, maybe 68. You know, hey, that's just opportunity that, you know, can't no man should walk away from. And for, for someone like himself, is it finally good now that he's getting the respect he deserves? For so long he have been saying it, you've been saying it. Now he's finally getting the respect that he willingly deserves. Well, it's about time that he's getting the respect. And now finally the world see how good Terrence is. Another thing I wanted to ask you about, someone who's close to the gym, Shakur Stevenson. We know he got ordered to fight Frank Martin. Him and Devin Haney have been going back and forth. Do you want to sort of ask you about sort of the leaked videos of, of Bill Haney saying that you know he's more willing to go up to 140 instead of fighting Shakur because Shakur was getting quite hot? What do you sort of make of, the, of, that, of that video? Well, you know, uh, you know, I mean, it happened. Somebody recorded him, and you know, Bill felt the way he felt. So, you know, he he said what he said. He can't take it back. But uh, you know, Shakur and and uh, Devin be a good fight. Shakur and Tank could be a good fight. Shakur and uh, Frank, Frank Martin, I think it'd be an annihilation of of uh, Frank because I, I, he's not ready. I don't think he's ready. If I was his team. You know, I'll pass on that and get more experience and uh, move forward. Do you think, so with that, do you think the elite are sort of trying to duck and dodge Shakur? Uh, I don't know, man. It sounded like he was trying to duck and dodge Shakur. Uh, but, you know, the way they talk, they talk like they want to fight or fight want to be made or offer was being made. So you, you never know. Bo Mac, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. Sorry.